So I've got Y Cruncher running. And as you can see, I've passed TM5 already. Just doing absolute because I don't have much time between um, load shedding slots. So I have to do a shorter test. Um, and uh, it's worked well for me so far, but um, I really just have time constraints. So I'm doing this one for now. Um, just one hour of absolute as always. And um, these settings are pretty easy. Um, nothing too crazy. Uh, on this board now. And uh, yeah, so let me just screenshot this real quick. Okay, grab that. Um, I just like screenshotting uh, whatever OCI I get done. Um, let me just do it again. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, this was a very difficult um, problem solving thing I had to do. Um, in terms of, I kind of had to decide whether I wanted a fast memory speed or to be safe. And unfortunately on this board, if I show you, um, this is a pretty useless metric, but I want to show you anyway, just so you get an idea um, of what's going on. If I do this, here we go. So this is locked, but actually the real value is this one, right? So um, this is the right value with the correct readings and stuff, and it goes like up and down. Um, this is just like an arbitrary value that like says what it's set to in BIOS. Um, and basically, yeah, this board is doing some weird stuff. Um, in fact, Skullbringer found the exact same thing out. Um, let me just check something real quick. Let's so see if they saved. Okay, so yeah, my screenshot saved. But yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna restart real quick. Manetta BIOS, I'll show you as well. You're gonna see that it actually trains in properly. Like there's no there's no weirdness. Like it trains in pretty smoothly. Um, how's it look? All right, I think it looks okay. Motherboard cable is like hidden, kind of behind the red thing. It's like routed, and um, CPU cables are routed okay. Um, I have like the ARO's cables like bunched up, and then. Unfortunately, the, the fan adds a bit of like extra bulk to the whole um, aesthetic, um, so it makes it look a bit ghetto. But like, I think it looks alright. I mean, these cables are quite shit as well, but what can you do? So we're in. And as you can see, there was no warning. There was no. Uh, pop up for safe mode nothing like that and um the reason why is because let me just save this first before i say anything else save the profile to to okay cool so anyway um i actually had these two at the bottom here set to auto but it doesn't matter too much this is 1.4 volts um and this is 1.45 now why does that order to 1.45 because these are 1.45 um, i found that on this board the reason why um, yesterday's video um, i was having training problems it actually was not sa as you can see i'm down at 1.1 sa right now i could probably do less even i think i can do like one but honestly it doesn't matter um, i don't feel like trying test test one 1.1 is so low already um just crazy low and um and timings like i guess i can show them to you it doesn't really matter too much though i mean they're really tight like as tight as you can get really like um 60 50 here 15 7s 15 7 there 19 19 and then like just a bunch of stupid secondaries like 12 12 and like 4 8 and um 16 t4 and stuff just crazy like stupid timings um like 40 40 rc and trp anyway so the problem is this motherboard right now it cannot sustainably train when this doesn't equal to this and that's why you just run an auto you can run an auto if you want you can you know manually set it but it doesn't really matter um auto should work pretty much perfectly um and save you time and effort but you know unfortunately you cannot train reliably on this board unless you have auto settings or match them yourself you know manually like so if you say 1.45 um 
BDD, you've got to do 1.45 TX. Um, and it's not good, it's dangerous. Um, it's why I have the settings I have now, because I need to be able to daily this PC and use it until I've you know, sold this board or whatever. And um, unfortunately, I mean, the board is not faulty, the board is completely fine. Don't like think I'm saying it's faulty. The board is totally fine, it's usable. The problem is if you're an OCR and you're planning to use 1.5 volts plus on your memory, no way. So I'm beginning to wonder if G-Skills XMP doesn't cut off 1.45 and why the others don't cut off 1.45 because they know that Asus boards need that matched. And they know that if some person, right, if some customer puts in a 1.5 volt XMP kit into their PC on an Asus board, an auto TX VDDQ, 1.5 daily. And I'm beginning to think that might be why they don't sell 1.5 volt XMPs. It might be why. Um, some guys online are arguing with me saying it's not a thing. I, I'm sorry, but I know what I'm talking about. Like, it's, it is a thing. Like, it's just, it is. Um, Skullbringer mentioned the exact same thing on Twitter to someone else who was arguing with him. Yeah, Asus had a problem with this rail in the beginning of DDR5 with, with um, their early boards. I'll show you some stuff. Hold on. Just give me a second. Um, I actually installed Turbo V. It should, it should be installed now because I restarted. Here we go. So I'll show you. So you saw now, um, I haven't changed settings. So I'll show you on Turbo V what it, um, it'll show you what my, the auto value for VD2 is. So if I open this up real quick. Here we go. So, um, yeah, I've got adaptive global. Uh, no, that's not correct. It should be manual override. Hold on, let me see. Started. Does bug sometimes. Weird. Okay, I think it thinks the global quest of it is um, <laughs> adaptive. It's actually override, whatever. Um, so we've got SA 1.1, like I showed you. Um, we have uh, here we go. Actual VRM core voltage. Okay, this one. Yeah, we said 1.275. Here we go. Um, and then we have input 1.85. We have um, anything else I can show you. That's interesting. Um, uh, where's, there we go, MC. So as you can see, it was auto and BIOS, but auto is this value. It is this value. Um, auto will be 1.4 on this board for anything um, in these sorts of data rate ranges. Um, and, and pretty much you're not gonna get like high data rates at, on this board, like, you know, below 1.4 anyway. So what, yeah, but 1.4 on this board is optimal. A lot of guys run it, it is, it works. Um, it's a good value and you know, TX unfortunately auto is 1.45 and there's nothing you can do about it if you change TX you won't train properly you just won't train properly it's 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 stupid it's dumb it makes it not fun to OC on this board because it's it's so like dangerous if you don't have good ICs um, and by that I mean memory memory chips like if your kit isn't good like if you can't run like you know if you can't run 1.45 volts for like a nice 8000 OC then you are, man, you're screwed. Like, my, my kit can't do better than 7400. This board doing 7400 with those settings at 1.4, it's actually better than the dock. The dock couldn't do that data rate at 1.45 volts. I don't know, maybe I've, I'd have to change some settings, but like, yeah, my dock wasn't even doing it. I needed 1.5 volts for like 7400 C34. That was running fine. But yeah, these settings I'm running on this board, like, my dock couldn't do them. So these aren't even like, you know, this board isn't even doing badly. It's just unfortunately that the board um it has this weird like quirk to it um it's a very strange quirk man it's just very weird but it's like you can't run away from it and um like these are good settings i mean don't get me wrong these are very nice like timings for um 7400 and like you know 1.45 volts is quite you know conservative you know it's very conservative i mean look at the the screenshot i'll show you now like i mean what did it hit in like um in tm5 in tm5 the max temp was like 47 degrees dude and, like look dude this is crazy like cold i mean this is very safe and like, I mean, 1.45, man, it's nothing. It's really nothing for 8i. So, but yeah, I, I think that's why the XMPs are locked right now, 1.45. But I think that's why. Um, it has to be why, surely. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This board is kind of saddening me now. Um, it's a good board. It's very pretty. Look at it. I mean, it's very nice. But this is really unfortunate, you know. Um, it really is. So, yeah.